Hi, this is Mr. Silverman with a short tutorial on how to grab an image off of your screen and insert it in MS Word or any other Microsoft project. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm actually going to go to Google Images for the search. I'm going to look for a computer. And let's say I want to use this image. I'm going to click on it for a closer view. Now there's the image. Sometimes you mouse over it and you'll get this toolbar when you click on the floppy disk you can save the image. What you need to do is go and make sure you're in your network account. And I'd save it in a special tech folder so you keep all your technology work together. Now let's say that this did not come up and I want to do a better job of editing most of the time you may have to do this so I'm going to teach you how to use print screen. You hit the print screen button on your keyboard and now I'm going to go to Photoshop Elements. If I go to File, New, Image from Clipboard, I've got the entire screen captured here. The next step that I could do is I'm going to crop and save the part that I want so I go to the crop tool here I click with my left mouse and drag over the area I want to keep and then release then go to the checkbox up here and hit the checkbox so now this is the image I'm going to keep I'm going to zoom in click the spyglass make sure it says plus and then click with the left mouse to zoom in so I've got a better view of my image I could crop that again just to make sure it's a little bit tighter so I'm going to go to the crop button click with the left mouse drag release and then go to the check box again now let's say I want to get rid of some of this background stuff I go to the eraser and when I click on it right click I can either use the eraser tool to manually erase it or I'm going to try Magic Eraser. Sometimes that works. So I'm going to go to Magic Eraser and just left click and left click and it got rid of a lot of the information that I didn't want. I can go back here and right click Eraser tool and start to manually erase some of the stuff that I don't need. I'm not going to spend the time here now to do that. What I will do is show you to go to the image mode and it must say RGB color to work in all your projects. It also needs to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to go back to image, resize, image size, and over here where it says document size, I'm going to click and change the width to about two inches. The height changes automatically for me, and I hit OK. And now last step, I go to File, Save for the Web, so I'm going to save this image on my network account in a smaller number of bytes using Save for the Web. Hit OK. Make sure that you're navigating to your network account and that you're in a tech folder. Put the name in. Hit Save. And now I can go to MS Word and drop it in that image using insert picture from file and navigate to where my images are and I'm done. Congratulations.